hello everyone today in this video we are going to downgrade or upgrade the php version so first we are going to check the php version and then we are going to simply downgrading by downloading a specific file and then paste them into the zamp directory so we are not going to downloading the full setup and then install it so here i'm running this uh, zamp uh, which is uh, uh, containing the php 8 version so let's go to the cmd and verify that uh, I am saying correct or not. So here type of PHP and type double flag hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. And yes, it's telling us that it's running PHP 8.1.6, right? So now uh, uh, in my case, I have a project where I want to use this PHP 7, right? So how I can do this? I don't want to install this manually like uh, full install the setup and uninstall the existing one and then reinstall the full setup. So what is the shortcut? So shortcut is you need to go to the source so forge.net website, right? So here let me remove these. Uh, I'm going to walk through the from zero to zero. Okay. So it's opening this file and here you need to uh, search this XAMPP. Okay, search this XAMPP because we are going to install specific files of XAMPP right and uh, here i'm going to find it xamp for the windows right so let me search it like xamp for windows you can search it from here as well as okay 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 so i'm going to okay for saving the time i'm going to walk through this uh, source for net uh, and uh, like this so project slash windows slash uh, zamp slash windows so basically it's opening all of the windows uh, zamp uh, versions right so i'm going to go to this parent directory so you can download uh, in uh, now i'm in the php 8 so i want to downgrade into the 7.2 right right so how i can do this so let's find here 7.2 version so here i'm finding this 7.2 and yes it's this one 7 by 2.33 right so let's click on this i'm going to download this and then i'm going to add this into my project so here there is a 64 i'm using the 64 bit that's why i'm clicking on this 64 right so you can also click on this zip file and extract this into your project and yes it's saying that your download will shortly so it will download this file in a five second so let's wait for a moment uh and uh, yes wait for a moment okay okay and yes it's downloading this file so it's 185 mb so uh, if you are downloading different one like let me go back so you can also download the this 84 mb file so it's also same right so i already downloaded this file and then i'm going to walk through this uh, through this file so let's uh, go to the downloads here and i have downloaded this uh, 7.2.5 so now i'm going to downgrade my version from 8 to 7 so i'm going to open this uh, like this into uh, into this archive i don't want to extract this file so here i'm going to go to this zamp directory so this one is a zamp directory which contain apache and php file so these files are responsible for version so i'm going to first make this uh, uh, change the name of this apache why i'm changing this name because i don't want to lose the php 8 version so here i'm going to type the backup uh, backup 8 right so i'm naming this uh, let me type backup correctly backup 8 right so i added a suffix here backup 8 so it's changed the apache so i need to stop these services then i'm able to do this so here let's try again and do uh, yes now it's changed and let's go here and also add the suffix uh, uh, backup 8 so you can add uh, whatever you want so i'm just uh, adding for backup because i will remind that this is the php 8 backup so here i'm going to paste the php and apache directory from my 7.2 uh, 
uh, 7.2 XAMPP version. So here let's go to this XAMPP and this XAMPP contain Apache and then here let's move down so it's contain the PHP right. So I'm going to copy these uh, files and then I'm going to move into my XAMPP directory for changing my version right. So in the previous uh, XAMPP I changed this PHP backup 8 because I want to use these file not the previous ones that's why I changed their name. And so let's wait for a moment to complete this uh, process and then we are going to paste this and yes it's going to complete it very soon. So let's see. By the way if you are not familiar with my YouTube channel so today nowadays I am shooting different playlists on the Laravel and also I am uploading different uh, Laravel tips and tricks on this community tab where you can get the regular update from this uh, channel and yes I am shooting different uh, it's loading and yes it uh, and here it's got 15 so I'm different shooting different uh, tips and tricks here and I'm also having different playlist on the Laravel so here jQuery with Ajax call VS code Laravel PDF series and if you are a PHP developer you can uh, watch my Laravel 9 course if you are interested in the Laravel uh, Laravel you want to learn the Laravel because Laravel is a uh, nowadays it's going very popular so you need to learn the laravel right so if you are interested you can learn it from laravel 9 course in hindi right so it's very simple i started it from zero to hero and i have also an english version so if you are familiar uh, if you are comfortable with the english we can watch my english uh, laravel course and i have different playlist right so here now it's copied and i'm going to this zamp and here i'm going to paste them here right and uh, it's uh, not taking too much time okay so it's there right let's wait for a moment and it will be there okay php and apache right so here now these files are added so now i'm going to uh, open my XAMPP here so it's going to execute the 7.2 version so let's click on this run as administrator so if you don't know how to run it as administrator so you can watch my previous video where I explain it and yes it's running so I'm going to open this CMD here right and uh, here I'm going to type this uh, PHP and then you need to type uh, double flag and type version so it will display as a PHP version and yes now it's telling that it's the PHP 7.2.5 so it's mean that we successfully uh, downgrade our version from 8 to 7.25 so you can downgrade into any of the ones so you can download uh, these uh, simple files which contain the Apache and uh, PHP and some other files not contain the full uh, full XAMPP so that's why you can save your bunch of time you can easily change your version so let me check the video size and yes this video size is a little bit going bigger and uh, I most of the time I prefer to shoot the videos uh, 5 to uh, 7 minutes so in the next video I'm going to tell you that how you can upgrade the PHP from lower to higher so basically it's same but I'm going to shoot this in the next video so I will meet you in the next one and if you like this video please subscribe the YouTube channel and stay connected bye bye